McGinnis. I grew up in Manitoba on a farm. And one of the first things that I learned was um, the value of quality. I started out my career as an executive assistant. I moved into a management role and then into a professional role and then into an executive assistant role, which is where I currently am. And I'm still in management, but I'm in an executive assistant role. I really enjoy change. And I've experienced downsizing initiatives, privatization, mergers, and I've survived them all. And I'm currently going through an agency dissolution, and I know that I'm going to survive it and land higher. I am a C-suite enhancer. I thrive on making executives in a C-suite look good. Demonstrating professionalism and reputation is very good, is very important to me. The skills and values that I bring to an organization go beyond that of any other executive assistant. I become the go-to person in an executive suite, and I think that's very important. I take a lot of the duties away from my um, CEO, and, and I'm a good listener. I'm very approachable, and I'm very responsive. And, and you can count on me to get the job done and get it done well. And you can always count on me doing quality work. I don't compromise on quality. What I'm looking for is a permanent role in the area of executive administration. I would look forward to working for a new industry that I haven't worked for before so I can learn something new. I have a lot of transferable skills that I can transfer, I believe, to any organization. And so I haven't targeted one specific organization. I'm very flexible and adapt adaptable. And I believe that my value can be used to enhance the reputation of a board or C-suite and I hope that they can recognize the value that I bring to an organization. So my ask today is for any feedback from you and any connections that you have where you think that um, might, might find it worthwhile to hire a C-suite enhancer like myself. Question for you. In a few words, can you uh, describe for us uh, what makes you stand out from your peers? I think what makes me stand out is my being adaptable. Um, with the mergers that I've gone through and the privatization, I've ended up in areas where I hadn't really planned on, on going. Um, and they've all turned out well, but I think it's due to my adaptability and, and flexibility and my desire to, um, to learn and my desire to, um, um, to work with the, the people that I need to in order to get the job done. What is your pitch? What is your elevator speech if you have a minute or two max and somebody say, well, what do you do? What is your value? I become the go-to person in an executive suite. And I think that's very important. I take a lot of the duties away from my um, CEO. And, and I'm a good listener. I'm very approachable. And I'm very responsive. Bonnie, what was your big aha coming through Higher Atlantic? I think my big aha was um, I was having a lot of trouble with coming up with a North Star. Everybody else seemed to have some creative ideas, but I, I couldn't find one that really fit for me. And I came up with the word enhancer and mm. more helping people and helping them solve their pain points and enhancing their reputation. Um, and, and I just thought that really worked for me. Mm -hmm.